What happened in the June 2020 housing market in the Boise area? Well, let's find out. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Summer Aston. I am a realtor in the beautiful Boise, Idaho area with Silver Creek Realty Group, and I make new videos each week all about living in Boise and Boise real estate. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss any of the new ones that come out. But today we are going to be talking about that June 2020 housing market data. But we also got new data from the mid-year housing summit market that I'm going to share a little bit of that with you today. And also we're going to go over the data of the housing market for some specific towns. And then if you stay till the end, I'm going to tell you the real reason why everyone is moving to Boise. Well, if you watched my May housing market update, there was a little uncertainty on what was going to be happening in the summer housing market. Well, it is 100% certain now, inventory is lower, the demand is higher, all of those pent up buyers that were holding back due to the stay at home orders are now out in full force trying to find their dream homes and apparently they're all choosing Boise. Keep in mind that these market numbers from July 2020 reflect the data of what happened during June 2020. These statistics are from the Boise Regional Realtors Association and they reflect data for all of Ada County which encompasses towns like Boise, Meridian, Star, and Eagle. Okay, the median sales price in June 2020 ended up at $375,000. That is a 6.3% increase over June of 2019, and it's also up $15,000 over last month. Our closed sales for June 2020 was 1,147 homes. That is also up 3.4% over June of 2019. And our inventory just keeps getting lower. In June 2020, we were down to 977 homes in all of Ada County on the market. That is over a 44% decrease from June of 2019. Now we have an increase in closed sales. We have an increase in pending and a decrease in inventory. You guys, the buyer demand is high and our inventory is low and it's just keeping those prices rising. Another market indicator we use is the days on market. Our days on market in June 2020 actually increased slightly to 32. That's a 3.2% change over 2019. And those little bit longer days on market are due to the fact that we're selling so many more new construction homes. And oftentimes those new construction homes are listed as soon as the lot becomes available. And so sometimes it shows them as being on the market longer. And then our pending sales are up 17% over June of 2019. We have 2,040 pending sales in June 2020. And our June 2020 new construction median sales price is up 2.1% over June 2019 to $426,073. We have just over 1,000 new construction homes that are pending in June 2020, which is up 23.8%. The inventory of new construction homes in June 2020 was 539 and the closed sales in June 2020 were 362 and that is up 20.3% over June of 2019. Now let's take a closer look at the average home sales prices in some specific towns. Okay, so switching to some July 2020 statistics for these individual towns, let's start by taking a look at Eagle. The average home sales price in Eagle for the month of July was $650,577. And the median days on market in Eagle for July 2020 was 15. For the whole city of Boise, the average sales price was $403,220,000. And the median days on market was six. And for the city of Meridian, we've also reached over 400,000 for this average sales price. It's 411,898,000, ,000, while the median days on market for Meridian was just 12. In the city of Nampa, which is not in Ada County, but it is a city that everyone is interested in too, their average sales price also reached above 300,000. They are now at 321,913,000 ,000 with a median days on market of seven. Let's check out Star, everyone's favorite small town community to the north of Eagle. Their average home sales price is $448,464, ,464, 
with a median days on market of 33. And in Caldwell, which is also in Canyon County, they're barely above 300,000 now. They are at 301, 530,000 for the month of July with a median days on market of eight. Out towards CUNA, just four days on market for that median days on market with an average home sales price of 366, 467,000. And in Middleton, eight is the median days on market with an average sales price of 368,381. Last but not least, let's take a look at Emmett. Emmett had a median days on market of 16 and an average home sales price of 318,754,000. dollars We had our mid-year housing market and I wanted to share some interesting data from that. First, check out this map showing the average equity gain year over year. And what do you know, the winner was Idaho with an average equity gain of $24,000. So are our home prices increasing? Absolutely. And what's driving that increase in home prices? Well, it's shrinking supply of lower priced existing homes. There are more new home selling and at overall higher prices. And we also have lower mortgage rates. Inventory is pretty low all across the United States right now. It's very low in the Boise area. So why is that inventory so low? We have more people that are aging in place. There are investors that are holding onto their homes because of the high rental market. And homeowners are delaying listing until they find a new home. And many people won't trade up. And this is very common here around Boise. It just doesn't make financial sense for locals to trade up. So what does this all mean for you? Well, if you are a home seller in the Boise area, sell your home. Just do it. We need the inventory and there are so many buyers waiting. If you are considering buying a home in the Boise area, then you need to be prepared to jump on that home that you love and make an offer. You're going to make that offer the cleanest and best that you can. Try to not have any contingencies if at all possible. And you can always email me so I can give you some tips on how to get your offer accepted in this market because it really kind of depends on if you're buying an existing home or a new build home and at what stage in construction that new build home is. And I told you I'd tell you the real reason why people are moving to Boise. Now the statistics will say that it's relative affordability compared to the cost of housing in our larger cities to the west. But the number one reason people are actually moving to Boise in such high numbers is politics. They are fleeing the political situation in their home states and seeking peace and safety in Boise. So it is a motivating factor in our housing market that statistical data does not have qualifying measurements for. But how will that affect our market in the months and years to come, especially as affordability in Boise decreases? Well, I'll keep observing the market to find out. I'll keep making more videos about what's happening in our housing market. In the meantime, if you want more information about relocating to Boise and living in the Boise area, you can email me and I will send you the link to the free relocation guide. And if you need to buy or sell a house in the Boise area, please reach out to me. I am happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.